Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through the fear. We're not going to eliminate, we're breaking through it. Get to that pathway, boom. You don't have to dismantle the whole thing. Don't waste your time. It's there, it's going to be there, it's part of the collective consciousness. Oh well, we don't have to react to it anymore. It's not going to be a part of our, our whole collective psyche anymore. If we stop reacting to it, it's just so conditioned in us that we don't even realize we're doing it all the time. All right, this video, signs that you're manifesting what you desire. First of all, you're always manifesting, always. Because every probability exists and with every thought and feeling, you're bringing into reality those thoughts and feelings. So it's manifesting, they're, they're appearing. The fact that I'm in this house and you know I have these glasses here, it's, everything's been manifested according to every decision I've made, every thought. Everything you've seen was a thought at one point. Everything. So, signs that you're manifesting what you desire. I want you to understand that just because you're coming up against challenges doesn't mean you're not getting to what you desire. Does this make sense? All right, let me explain. When you're going after what you desire and you're at peace with it, you know it's a probability, you've made up your mind that that's what you're going to see in your life, it's going to show up, you visualize it, you feel it, you know what it's like, you relax because you know it's done. You accept, totally accept where you are right now because you know that this is just part of the journey to when that shows up. Total acceptance is not fighting it because when you fight it, you put focus on it. So you've put focus on the negative situation you're in right now. It's pushing this thing that you want further away because you're focused on this. I don't want this, I feel bad. And the universe says, I don't want this, I feel bad. Where's the new thing you want to manifest in that? Right? These are the little eyeballs I told you. Think of it as eyeballs watching you and just you talking. Not you talking to it, I want, you know, a new job. Okay, let me think about that. No, it's I want a new job. How about let's create a new job. I have the new job. Oh, I have the new job. And then the universe brings that new job into your reality because I have the new job. And then you visualize it and you know you have it and you're like, Whew, that was cool. And then you know, like, okay, I don't know. Well, you're, you've been turned down, you know, five times now. It's like, it's okay because I have the new job. That's not the new job. Those jobs weren't the new job. Maybe it's number six that's the new job. I don't care. The new job's coming. I know it, it's already happened. It's a probability that I have decided is coming into my reality. So, what are the signs? It doesn't mean that things won't happen that look like it's not coming to you. Signs are that things are changing. If you start to see change, even if it's a challenge, realities have shifted. And most of the time, those challenges are your opportunity to clear out the things that have stopped you from getting to that thing anyways. Now, I did a video very similar to this on expansion. Are you expanding? Signs that you're expanding. It's pretty much the same thing, but expansion is just you opening up to probabilities. Manifesting for me is knowing exactly what you want and deciding on a specific thing, not trying to control it, now, if you keep getting the same challenges and you're saying nothing's changing, this I just the same, it's like, you know, Groundhog Day, then you haven't mastered that challenge. And then the next one might come. Or the opportunities are starting to come, but it's not quite shifted into the perfect one because you still have things you've got to clear out. So you're still attracting something that's not quite good enough for you because you still might somewhere believe that you're not good enough or that you can't make enough money or, oh, it's a perfect job, but they didn't offer me that much money because somewhere you're still hanging on to it. So identify that and say, I'm still not believing I'm worth that money. I have to shift that. And then get that number in your mind. Say it's, you know, let's say 200,000 or more, 
don't control it or more. I'm making 200,000 or more with great benefits, with a wonderful boss or wonderful colleagues, whatever it is you want. And I love what I do every day. And you, you have this clear, but you don't define what that is to the point where the universe might take 10 years to find that exact thing or line you up with it because you've got a, a, a long path of changes to get that exact thing. So if you open it up, so maybe you get the job that's you know 200,000, but oh, your boss, you're not that crazy about him because you still haven't really shifted into the deserving to be respected by other people. So while you're in that job, maybe you're making the money, but you don't have all the other components. You have to learn how to deal with that. Be okay with the people that don't treat you as well instead of fighting it or being a victim. And then you get a promotion and you get more money and that boss is gone and then you get the new boss up here, maybe even the same company that really values you. That's how it works. But if you're not seeing changes, if nothing's changing, changing, that thing is not coming. It's not coming. Why? You're not doing anything different. You're not opening up. You're not expanding and you are not changing that mindset to know that you're already there. You're still focused on the reality you're seeing at the moment. Now there's no such thing as time. So you can see a reality right now that is the new one. And there may be a reality shift. It's been happening to me. It's freaking me out a little bit, to be honest with you. It's like, I don't even know why it's shifting sometimes, but I don't question it because I know the shift is taking me to some place that I need to be and something like changed, like is missing or shows up in a weird spot because I shifted the reality. And so whatever I was thinking on over here shifted me in that whatever it was is in a different spot. So there might be physical things that happen. You go, okay, I shifted. I shifted and it wasn't me doing it. If you know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you did not move that thing or, um, you know, uh, put something someplace or something just shows up and, you know, you're not like just, we do that. Sometimes, you know, you're walking around looking for your glasses and they're on top of your head, right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if you know darn well that that thing wasn't sitting in the middle of the table and you weren't even in that room and you come in and nobody else was around. There was a reality shift. So no, something happened. It's like, ooh, very cool. The other thing too is you guys, like we've experienced the shadow people, all that stuff. That's another reality shift. Veils are coming down. So if you're experiencing that, you may be opening yourself up to that expansive universe that's going to show you new things. And by the way, an opportunity for you to overcome fears and realize they're just energy. They're not going to do anything to you. They don't have any power over you. It's like somebody, they can mess with you, but you have free will. There's nothing they can't, that they can do that you can't override or change. And you don't have to love it. I mean, I don't, it, does, it doesn't feel good when they show up, but like, it's like enough. And they'll, they'll leave because they're just energy, but that may be the sign that your veils are coming down and you're expanding into all probabilities and we're getting to see things. I don't know about you, but I, I, you know what? If somebody watched this, they'd probably come over here with a net if they didn't know what we were talking about. But, <laughs> but I do see things now, like uh, movement of, of things in the room. I know a lot of you are seeing that too and you're like, okay, this has happened one too many times. It's not a shadow. It's not a light from a car outside. So what's happening is we're becoming much more sensitive, more psychic. Uh, we, our intuition's greater. Our manifesting capabilities are greater. But again, it's time to release the fears. So if you see the shift, if you get the challenges, yay, welcome them and go, ooh, the blocks are being removed. Things are happening. I'm getting to manifest. Those can be the signs that it's happening, not that it's going away from you. Change means that a reality has shifted. Now, if you keep seeing the same things going on, the same bills that don't get paid, the same arguments, the same disrespect at work, there's no shift there. I know one of you, uh, gosh, what is it? Nic oh, I, I'm sorry if I mess up your name. It's it Nicole or Nicolette. I think it's Nicolette wrote me. Oh my gosh. 
from, I think, South Africa, wrote me this huge shift that happened to her. She was a victim. Her boss was a jerk. Four years. She comes home, and she decided not to let the energy get sucked out of her by being upset over that. She sent the boss light and love and healing, and she went on with her way, and that was a huge shift. That had to happen because now she's going to go into a different probability because she's broken that habit. She used that opportunity that's been happening over and over and over again. I noticed she's, after four years, still at the same company, right? So there must be something good about it. And she saw it. She realized it was an opportunity for her to shift her own belief system and how she reacts to things. Instead of the fear, fear, right? Anger is fear. Victim, fear. Feeling helpless. You're not. So celebrate that. You are in total control right now. And go, okay, yes. Woo, okay, we got to, well, you know, people die. Illnesses job loss, sometimes stuff like that, and you're like, what just happened? An opening. Can you look at all this stuff as beautiful? Because when you do those openings, they fall off, and then the beautiful stuff comes in, because that acceptance and knowing it's an opportunity for you to become something greater raises your frequency, and you connect to the things you want to truly manifest, that you truly desire. That is the acceptance, the thank you. I'm going to break through this. I'm never not going to react, never going to react again the way I have been because I'm a different person. And there's my bell. I don't know what that is, but somebody's texting me and I'm going to let you go. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Welcome all the signs. Welcome the changes. Welcome the challenges. Take them on. Raise your frequency. Bless other people thankful. Be thankful. Send light and love to those who are struggling. Stop being the victim. Change your own reality and your reactions and watch the abundance and that thing that you love, you want it to come into your life. Those roadblocks are going to open up and say, you're ready. You're ready for it. I know you're ready for it. Namaste.